I have two uh, images here, and the first one is going to give us the profile. So when you take a look at this uh, section, you can see this picture and say, okay, how can I illustrate that profile? So I'm going to double click just to go through a couple traditional methods of putting this together with a new layer on top of it. And saying, okay, here's the rulers, Command R. I'll give myself a ruler guide down the middle and uh, see about maybe taking the pen tool and clicking on the outer edge of this. Even though this is curved, it should be straight coming across. So I'll go ahead and put that in there straight. Um, reset this so that it just has the fill of the black section right there. Deselect it on this part and just increase it. Uh, the stroke of this, Let's see if I have it, oops. Take the selection tool, select this, and just increase this to about the thickness of what you would imagine the cardboard area to be. And uh, then zoom in on it. And maybe it would have a section, let's see, extending off here. So I could take the line segment tool and just connect it down here just to make it that section. That would be the underside of the cut. But since we may not actually see that, I'm just going to keep it straight across, but just wanted to show it to you there. Okay. Up at the top, you can see it goes around that edge. So I may make it a circle with the ellipse tool. Just bump it over there. Let's see what that looks like. And here it is with the, uh, the stroke. I'll just put this back to uh, one point. Maybe make it just a little bit larger. So that's just the outer lip of this piece. The part that's a line segment, I'm just going to go to Object Path, because you need to have it a shape. So we'll outline that stroke there. And just select both of these items. There, they're both selected. And use the Shape Builder or the Pathfinder to just connect them all together here. So there it is, is one, one piece. Okay, And you could clean it up if you need to. Just take a look at this top section. It has these extra points. Just take the pen tool and you can eliminate some of these parts. Take this one off. Take that one off. So you just have a pretty much a circle there. The fill, I'm just going to give it a light uh, gray to it and back it out of here. Okay. So now it's selected. I can just go to Effect, 3D, and Revolve. Revolve will preview this and give you this container coming across. And you can see there's a little lip to it, connected to it. I have more options for the shading. So I'm going to click on the shading, click another um, light source. So I have a couple pieces of light kind of shining in that particular direction there. Put three of them on that side and then put uh, a new light click here so it goes behind the object. Just set it off to the sides. So now I have a reflected light, <clears throat> kind of three lights to get the intensity. You can modify it here as well. And then I'll just go to the map art. Just to show it to you, there's five sides of this. So when I click this across, this gives me an image. So I'll go ahead and <clears throat> put a um, section on here, see what happens, see how this looks. And you see that this is on the inside of the container. Okay, so click again. This is on the bottom of it. This is on the outside surface. So here it is. I'll extend it a little bit. And we'll leave it right there. Where it shades the artwork slower, I'll just go ahead and click OK. And come back and click OK. So for the most part, we have it set up. Set it off to the side here, and you can see that it now has the purple and the white band. So I'm just going to take the rectangle tool, create a band of it like this, and give it a default of white. And then hold the option and click a piece across. Use the eyedrop tool and click on the purple, and then select this across. Hold the option and just 
shift key up there and duplicate this across. Run out of room here a little bit. Move this guy over. Select all of these items and take a look at the stroke and just take make sure there's no stroke on there. So now I have this particular section. Make it a little bit smaller, see what happens. We'll make it fit in there. And you just want to make this into a symbol. So when I come down here, here's symbols. It'll pop open over here. I can click at the bottom, a new symbol. All these attributes I can leave the center, making it a movie clip dynamic. Click OK. I'm going to set this off to the side. That's the symbol. <clears throat> and uh, once I have it in here, I have to go into the appearance panel. Here's the 3D revolve on this side. So I'll just double click to get to, into the effect up there. Click on preview. And uh, then go into the map art. So as you click through this, you'll see the red wireframe connected, and that's the piece that it is right here. So I can click on this, hit none, and then go ahead and hit on the new symbol. And you see it's pretty, pretty accurate. I can just slide it over so it fits the entire shape there. Click OK, click OK. And now I have this particular section. Just copy it and switch over into Photoshop and paste this in. And as you paste this uh, <clears throat> section in, let's see if this will come through as pixels rather than as a smart object, because we'll just use it to, to work from. Just option and shift it down to fit there. Let's see if this will work. Just kind of squish this down a little bit. Hit return. Duplicate this, take the top one, edit, just simply free transform it on the vertical side. Shift key this down. Place it right about there. As this is the base one, I can minimize the opacity of this, and at the bottom put a layer mask. Click on the gradient. I'm going to go to foreground to background, just so it's going from dark to light. All the pieces are set, and just click and drag this part up, and you can kind of see it kind of slowly builds that section up, and it gives you a quick selection process modify the coloring as this goes with the brush. Take my brush tool, have the scaling of this, the size of the brush up at the top. So I can increase that. I can kind of use the bracket keys on the keyboard to do it as well. So it's just kind of giving you a slight coloring of a background there. But there's the reflection, there's the piece that comes across. And, uh, let's see if we can that section. 